We're here at the Pastoral Center of Christ Cathedral and we just had the awards for the local grants for the Catholic Campaign for Human Development, CCHD. It's our U.S. Bishop's anti-poverty program um, and locally we have a collection that happens in the diocese and part of that money goes back to national grants to help support um, work all across the country and part of that money stays here locally and we're able to grant that out to local nonprofits who qualify and who are in keeping with our Catholic teaching and the, and the mission of CCHD. We went out to 23 organizations this year and asked the 23 organizations if they would submit an application from the website. And with that, we look at the applications they submit and decide if they're worthy to go on based upon the criteria that we have. If they are, then we do site visits. After the site visits, we then again meet together. We then make a recommendation to Bishop Nguyen, and Bishop Nguyen decides whether he accepts those recommendations or doesn't. So out of those 23, we had three that actually won grants and they ran, won the $10,000 a piece grants, the most that we can give out. Well, it represents about half of our budget, but it will allow us to expand the mentorship uh, to try to recruit maybe college students that would do it as part of their internships um, and um, really bring some new life into the program. So that's part of it. And then the other piece is communications to try to uh, allow the community to get to know SHIP better and American Family Housing as well. So we're really excited about it and um, we hope we can use the money in those two areas. Most of the population that we see fall 200% below the poverty level. So imagine being able to go to a community that is not seen, not heard, and now they have access to our medical care, giving them an even playing field for their health that they might not get somewhere else. So those are part of the things that we're able to do, from prenatal care to pap smears and breast exams to education on sex uh, reduction. In other words, the beauty of being abstinent and building a future and relationships, things of that nature. Young people have an opportunity to hear from us and get that direct communication. We're able to now park in front of community centers, schools, and just have the staffing to provide those needs and those services in the community that they might not have had ever before. This grant provides us the opportunity to provide shelter and supportive services for more homeless families in Orange County. And it also has helped us to support our expansion into prevention services Services so that we can keep families from becoming homeless. We really value all of the partnerships that we have, not only because of the financial support we receive, but also the connections that we're able to expand into with the funding that we're getting from CCHD. So it connects us with a lot of different resources that we wouldn't have access to, so both the financial support and those resources really allow us to expand our mission.